Hello, Gary. All right, then. Hi, Denny. Dallas. How's Bob. things, Bob? Oh, fine, fine. My God, this place hasn't half changed. Yes, well, everything's changed since you've been away, hasn't it? Yeah, but man, this used to be just a barber's. Hairdressers. Nobody said barber since the Tony Curtis. You have a cut, Bob? Oh, no, thanks, Rita. Just uh, washed and blow-dried, Tar. Girls? Yes, girls. They work here. I've never had girls in a men's barbers. I shouldn't think anybody has. Um, Gary, this is Terry, a friend of mine. Can you fit him in? Sure, yeah. He needs, uh... uh yes, he does, doesn't he? Well, uh, I've been in the army for five years. Could you sort of restyle him, bring him into the 1970s? Ah, well, let's see. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll do what I can. Anyhow, take a seat and I'll get you washed in a minute. Great, uh... Washed? Why do I want my hair washed? What? I don't want my hair washed. I only washed it Tuesday week. <laughs> you have to have it washed. You have to have it washed and blow dried. You didn't have to have it washed in the old days. And this was an honest to goodness barber's when it was two bob hair cut, one and nine a trim. There was none of this shampoo nonsense. I suppose you preferred it in the old days with its cracked mirrors and fly paper and hair all over the lino. I suppose you preferred Tommy Mossop, the terror of the tongs. With his clippers and his hair oil and his nudge nudge, anything else you require? <laughs> well, he knew the horses did, Tommy. Gave me a good few tips, I can tell you. Not on hygiene, he didn't. He never had his fag out of his mouth or his ash out of your scalp. <laughs> and you sat there knee deep in other people's dandruff. Do you want a manicure today, Bob? God preserve us. <laughs> no, not today, thanks, Gary. At least you knew where you were with Tommy. What? Well... Well what? Well, I wouldn't like to be blow-dried by any of that lot. <laughs> They're all puffs, are they? Shh. Collier's Law. And all fashion designers and all window dressers, I suppose. It's a well-known fact. Yeah, another well-known fact. Anybody who's always putting queer people down and being aggressively masculine like you is only masking their own latent tendencies. Do you want me to stick one on you? You see, you see how aggressively masculine you're being. Well, what do you expect me to do when somebody says something like that? Hit them with your handbag. <laughs> Who do you fancy to win the game? Oh, England, I should think, Gary. Hey, it won't be easy, though, will it? Our team, Bulgaria, and out there. On the box tonight, isn't it? Going to watch it? Oh, we're going to watch it. Too true. Trouble is, the kickoff's not till lunchtime. I don't know how we're going to get through the day without learning the score. You'll never make it. There's the radio, evening papers, television news. We'll make it. Hard lads, those Bulgarians. No walkover. Fancy a draw, myself. What does he know about football? Quite a lot. Quite a lot. He had a trial for Burnley once. Him? Never. Still plays. Sunday league, like. So did Gary there and Denny. Really? You see, you shouldn't jump to... Shall I tell you something? Shall I? Gary there, before he came here, used to do the hair of half Newcastle United Football Club. Bob Munker. Malcolm MacDonald. Malcolm MacDonald uses the same conditioner as me. <laughs> and do you think he's soft? Well, have you ever seen a homosexual striker? You next, Bob. I'm your friend. <laughs> Relax, man. She's not going to pull your teeth out. By the way, <laughs> do you want the beer, egg, or herbal tonic? Uh, nothing to drink from me, thanks. <laughs> the shampoo's your fool. Is your scalp dry or greasy? Well, I don't know, do I? What sort of shampoo do you normally use? He usually uses carbonic and wild wool. <laughs> oh, build up, will you? I'll use the beer. You should take a bit more care. The ends are breaking. I happen to have been in the forces. There wasn't always a backwash Andy in the jungle. Oh, heaven preserve us. Here we go. Morning, lads. Hello, Flint. Oh, Flint. it's Flint. Hello, Bob. Hello, Flint. Good God, is that Collier? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, let's come here. <laughs> you do French polishing here and all, do you? <laughs> this way. It suits you. One hair brush forward, the other two brush back. Oh, that's his stuff, then. Oh, is that beer shampoo going Ooh. straight to his head? I won't be long, Flint. Who do you think will win the match, then? I'm you. Heard what? With the news from Bulgaria. Don't tell Don't us! Tell us. We're going to watch you on the box tonight. You'll never last out till tonight. Let me put you out here. Don't, Don't tell us! us.
I'll hammer that Flint. I'll kill him. That's typical of him. I was once standing in a queue to see Psycho, and he came out of the pictures and told me the ending. Uh, typical. <laughs> uh, two pints of special, Gloria, love. Is it raining out? No, why? Nothing. <laughs> Is this a good question? I wonder who scored. Well, it depends who got them, doesn't it? Them or us? Well, it must have been them. They're the home team. Two nil, he said. Yeah, but people don't go around saying nil two, do they? Not in ordinary speech, they don't. You don't say nil two. You say we won two nil or we lost two nil. Yeah, well, he's still ruined it for tonight, hasn't he? I mean, whoever scores first on the box, well, that's it, we'll know. The game doesn't start till 10 20, and we haven't <coughs> lasted out till 5 to 1. Hang on. What? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Kickoffs at 1 o'clock, yeah. right? Our time. So they're only just now kicking off. Flint was having us on. Oh, what a rotten thing to do, have you heard the news from Bulgaria? <laughs> Where is Bulgaria? What? <laughs> well, it's your eastern block, isn't it? It's, uh, well, I mean, if you're going from Greece towards Russia, it's sort of second on your left. <laughs> All right. Balkans. Pardon? It's your Balkans. <laughs> Out there, where they've had all that terrible flooding. Tragic. Thousands homeless. Well, that's to our advantage, isn't it, heavy pitch? What a terrible <laughs> thing to say. What an inhuman attitude. Well, they know how to cope with floods and such like out there. They're used to that sort of thing. Catastrophe is a way of life to them. And what does that ridiculous <laughs> remark mean? Well, all them countries over there, all them places like Persia and Bulgaria and the Middle East, they're all unstable. If they're not having floods, it's earthquakes. If it's not earthquakes, it's typhoons. That's what makes the people so unstable. That's why they're always so hysterical. Always leaping up and down and wanting a war or change of government or something. Are you seriously putting that forward as a theory of national character? Certainly, it's true. Now, you take Britain. We don't get earthquakes or tidal waves or anything, do we? I mean, we get to these bitter northeasterlies in February, but we don't have to pack our possessions and flee south. That's why the British character is so stable. That's why we're so dogged and relaxed and, and, and calm under crises. But according to you, we don't get any crises. We don't. But if we did, we would be calm under them. <laughs> now, I'm learning a lot about you today. I bet we could go right round the world and you'd have a pat response ready. Oh, I've travelled, man. I've seen a bit of the world now, you know. What do you think of... Koreans, for instance. Not to be trusted. Cruel people. Much the same as all Orientals. That's a third of the world's population dismissed in a phrase. <laughs> Russians? Sinister. Egyptians? Cowardly. Oh, I thought you might have saved that for Italians. No, 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 no. They're greasy, aren't they? Not as greasy as the French, mind. Germans? Arrogant. Spaniards? Lazy. Danes? Pornographic. <laughs> Well, that's just about everyone. Oh, Americans. Well, they're flash, aren't they? So it's just down to the British, is it? Well, I haven't got much time for the Irish or the Welsh. And the Scots are worse than the Koreans. <laughs> and you never could stand Southerners. To tell you the truth, I don't like anybody much outside this town. There's a lot of families in our street I can't stand either. Come to think of it, I don't even like the people next door. I see. So, from the distant blue Pacific, through the barren wastes of Manchuria, to 127 Inkerman Terrace, you can't abide anyone. <laughs> How you came to marry a German girl, I'll never know. The failure of my marriage only goes to prove my point. Them and us don't mix. England should take heed of the failure of my entry into Europe. <laughs> God, God didn't make this country an island by accident, you know. I see. So, to sum up, the British are come under a crisis, the rest of the world is unstable, and all hairdressers are fairies. <laughs> except Tommy Mossop. Oh, except Tommy Mossop. <laughs> Hello, lads. Oh, not raining, is it? Heard the latest score, then? Ah, oh, shove off, will you, Flint? Only a joke, only a joke. People don't joke about that kind of thing. You could have screwed up our whole day. You'll never last all day. You've got to hear somehow before ten tonight. We can manage if we can avoid the likes of you. I bet you can't. I bet we can. Fiver. Fiver each. Fiver each. You're on. Right, till tonight. Right, right. till the telly. Ten twenty. Right. 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 
You know it's on uh, radio live now. So what? We won't listen to the radio, will we? And you won't put it on, will you, Gloria Pat? Not if you don't want it. We'll be all right. We now take you over to Sophia, where England. Ah! Quiet, please, Gloria. Come. Hello, Audrey. Have you got a towel? Oh, hello, Good Audrey Pat. Oh, is it raining? Have to get me washing. No, it isn't raining. Everybody keeps asking us that. Oh, look, switch this radio off. Hey, you don't think we were followed, do you? No, I'd have known if we were. I've had experience in these matters. What's got oh. into you two? You're barging here like a couple of fugitives from justice. We're in great danger. It's a desperate situation. Oh, you haven't gone back to stealing hubcaps, have you? <laughs> hey, there's a television on in there. Well, switch it off. No, it's the test card for the baby. She likes it. Well, just turn the sound down. And would you mind turning that radio back on? I was listening to that. It's only Radio One Club. Good God, one day without Johnny Walker won't do anybody any harm. <laughs> there's nobody in the house now, is there? Just my lover. <laughs> you haven't got a lover. Have you, Audrey? Well, it wouldn't surprise me. She's always been permissive. <laughs> Not permissive, just romantic. Who is he? He's this beautiful, live, six foot seven, West Indian limbo dancer. <laughs> uh, limbo dancer, how low can you get? About, <laughs> about two foot six on a good night. Mm. <laughs> Isn't he a bit conspicuous on the Elm Lodge housing estate? I mean, what do the neighbours say when they see him coming through the gate? Or under it? <laughs> they say, lucky Audrey. Yeah. Oh. You haven't really got someone up there, have you? Of course I haven't. How have I got time to have a lover with two kids in the house? I'd be just about to melt into somebody's passionate embrace and a grubby little head would appear round the door asking for another treacle butty. Anyway, what are you two doing here? We've come here to get out of the way. There's a match on today. We've got a ten-pound bet on that we won't hear the score before it's on the telly tonight. We'll be no bother. We'll just sit here so you can get on with hoovering the baby or whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> well, if you want anything to eat, I've got nothing in. Oh, Audrey, man, pet, we can't eat. It's too much pre-match tension. Go on, go on, off you go. Your lover's getting restless. Yes. Well, if you hear any funny noises, don't worry. He's only lowering his pole. <laughs> well, the game will be nearly over. Injury time. Yeah, uh, there'll be a lot of injuries out there with them Bulgarians. That's another generalisation, is it? Bulgarians are vicious. They are, especially on heavy pitch. Dear me. It was on heavy pitch, thick mud, sliding tackle, put me out of the game, ruined my chances. Ruin what chances? My chances of a career in professional football. You can't be serious. I'll never forget the day. Sleet slanting down from an overcast sky. A crunch of our bodies colliding. A stab of pain above the left knee. A crowd baying for a penalty. The crowd? Both of them? Pardon? <laughs> You make it sound like one of the big moments in soccer history, like match of the century. Hell's teeth, it was only our scout troop against Biker Boys Brigade. <laughs> Played on an old bit of waste ground behind the Regal car park. Left its mark on me for life. And the only crowd I can remember was our scout master and a little old lady exercising her Airedale. Perhaps it was the Airedale you heard baying. <laughs> There's no trees on that waste ground. If I hadn't have had that injury, if I could have stayed at school another year, if I hadn't had to give up training for night school, if I hadn't had to have sacrificed my natural talent to bring a living wage into that house... God, you make I... enough conditions, don't you? If I'd stayed on at school, if my father was Prince Rainier, if the Germans had won the last war, if Enoch Parr was a seven-foot-tall West Indian limbo dancer... <laughs> then now I might be president of the Board of Trade. Or one of Pan's people. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's all I'm... Oh. Don't answer that phone. Do you mind? It is my house. Look, don't no. answer it. It's a trick. Well, it could just happen to be for me. Oh. It could just happen to be me mam or me husband or Littlewoods. Or even an obscene phone call. <laughs> Hello? Yes, just hang on a minute. It's Brian Flint for you. We should be all right in here for a while. All right, not the sort of place anybody would think of. I've got to see the vicar anyway about a wedding. I might as well get it over with. Well, at least it's safe, it's dry, and it's flint-proof. You know, it's just like the olden days, sanctuary. 
Hey? You could claim sanctuary in a church in the Middle Ages. You could do anything you like. You know, like steal a sheep or behead someone, or rape a Saxon maiden. <laughs> and all you had to do was hide in a church and the law couldn't touch you. Well, if the church was in a really rough district like ours full of villains, there wouldn't be any room for the congregation. <laughs> well, I expect they got used to it. You got any cards? Oh, you can't play cards. <laughs> you can't play cards, not in the house of God. Seems a fairly harmless pastime to me, compared with sheep stealing and Saxon raping. <laughs> Still not right. We could play battleships. Nothing to write with. We used to play that when I was in the choir. <laughs> During the sermon. Typically you, being in the choir. Boy soprano. I used to take the lead in Brother James's air. <laughs> I quite liked the life, and you got to see what went on backstage. Didn't your mother want you to go into the church? No, never. Ah, she did? No, she didn't. She wanted me to be a black and white minstrel. <laughs> Hallelujah. You never know, you never know. If I stuck at it, there might have been a big future in my voice. Did you ever see me in the Mikado? The Home and Colonial Amherst Operatic and Dramatic Society still talk about my nanky poo. Well, you never got kicked in the throat. It was worse for me with my ligaments. I didn't mind not being a singer. I'd rather have been a rubber planter. My mother wanted me to be a doctor, like Richard Chamberlain. Well, we've achieved nothing for no one, ourselves or our parents, have we? Too late now. Couldn't do it anyway. Not please everyone. To do that, I'd have to be a black and white rubber planter and you'd have to be a midfield brain surgeon. <laughs> oh, what time do you make it? Uh, ten past four. Game will be over. Ground will be empty. The crowd will have streamed away in their thousands. Aye, back to their communes and their collective farms, plodging through the bog and mud in their wellies. <laughs> yep. The team will be back in the hotel, Kebab and chips, <laughs> victory champagne and a sing-song. Oh, you're drowning the memories of their crushing defeat in communist state-owned brown ale. Well, six hours, then we'll know. Oh, I can't stay here for another six hours, man. Sanctuary or no sanctuary. It'll be getting dark soon. It'll be all creepy. <laughs> we'll go round the backs. We'll wait till darkness. We'll wait till a cover of darkness. We'll go round the backs to my new house, over the allotments and through the sidings. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with F. Font. How did you get that, you <laughs> jolly I just know that made your mind work. Oh, do you? Do you now? Right, right. We'll see if you can get this one. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with SGW. Stained glass window. Oh, right. <laughs> that, was, that was easy, that one, wasn't it? Any fool. Got it. Right, right, right. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with B. What? B. Oh, sorry, I thought you said P. B is it? Bible. Wrong. Why did you hesitate? It is Bible, isn't it? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. All right, then I give up. If it isn't Bible, what is it? Pardon? You heard me. Come on, quickly, quickly. What is it? Come no, on. If you're giving up, I mean, it, it's not Bible. It was never Bible. If you're giving cheat. up, it's... Who is? I'm not a cheat. It's... it's cheat, it's, cheat. It's Belfry. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was I spy with my little x-ray eye. <laughs> the belfry is right up on top of the church, on top of the roof. Nobody can see the belfry from here. I mean, who am I playing with? Superman and his x-ray vision. Well, I didn't know the belfry was up in the roof, did I? I thought the belfry was that little room over there. That is the vestry. Well, how am I supposed to know that? What chance have I got playing with an ex-choir boy? <laughs> I spy. Oh, I'm my... sick of that game. <laughs> what time is it? At the third stroke, it will be four, twelve, and thirty seconds. Beep, beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> And here at Monaco, in the Eurovision Song Contest, it's Britain's entry, young a former choir boy, Bobby Ferris, singing Boom, bang a bang, clash bang, wallop, up your puppet on a string. <laughs> That's not what it 
<laughs> doing the Eurovision Song Contest. That's ballroom dancing or ice skating. Oh, I hate that ice skating, figure skating, whatever it is. Especially when they've got the nerve to put on a sports programme. You know, Bulgaria's never won the Eurovision Song Contest. <coughs> well, it's not surprising, I suppose. They've never been in it. <laughs> None of the uh, Eastern Bloc have, except Yugoslavia. But they've never been placed. Well, that's hardly surprising, is it? That's another one, is it? That's another generalisation. Yugoslavs are tone deaf. Odd or even, right? Right. Right, 10 UP, odd or even. Uh, rats. Thank you, 10 UP. <laughs> right, you're on. Odd or even? Oh, oh. <laughs> Your card out there. What are you doing in here? Not even a good result. You can't touch us in here, It's sanctuary. Yes. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Five each. Oh. Today's text is taken from the Gospel according to Sir Alf. And lo, eleven men and one substitute did go forth to do battle. <laughs> even before the host of Bulgarian multitude. <laughs> and there was much food and national of tea. And the heavens all burning. <laughs> Yes, Auditioning someone, were you? No, I just... Why are you holding the collection plate? The what? Oh, this. Oh, well, we thought we'd like to make a contribution. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, church Restoration Fund. Disabled ex choir boys. Well, that's very generous of you. Oh, uh, look forward to seeing you in church next Sunday. Yes, <laughs> Don't move your head. Pardon? Don't turn your head. There's a television deal is on your left, but it doesn't set somewhere. Oh, it's all right. It's only the magic roundabout. That won't stop them. We interrupt this programme for an important announcement and pillocks to poor old Zebedee. <laughs> well, where shall I drive to? Just keep going. I don't really fancy driving out into the country. <sighs> no hiding place. You realise you're going down a one-way street? So what? So we can't turn round. So why should I want to turn round? Because in 50 yards we pass that one-legged news vendor flaunting his placard. <laughs> God, I. Still, it won't give the score. It'll just say match result or England score latest. What if it doesn't for once? What if it says England victory or England flop or Ramsey men shaken by Bulgars? and ten minutes to go. Oh, what a day. It's been endless. The longest day. It must be like this being on the run. Some of the places we've been. Still, we got something out of it. If we hadn't been on the run, we'd never have got to the Women's Institute. <laughs> if we hadn't got to the Women's Institute, we might never have learnt flower arrangement. Mm. <laughs> it was bound to come in handy someday. And we might have saved a life with those pints of blood we gave. True, true. Some victim of multiple motorway madness saved by a pint of Collier 73. Uh, did it hurt? Of course it didn't hurt. It was just the heat in there that made you faint, was it? Well, I've had nothing to eat, have I? We haven't dared enter a populated cafe all day. Hey, there's not a chink of light shone through those curtains. No, there isn't. I checked in the garden five minutes ago. You couldn't tell there was anybody in this house. We could switch on. No, we couldn't. You might get that ITN news. You know what that lot's like. They literally went to a sense of false security, then bang, suddenly there's the football results. Right. Well, Flint... You got five more minutes. Take that phone off the hook. Right, take the phone off the hook. No, in Flint, it's a wonder he hasn't sent a telegram. If he does, don't open it. Oh, I'd have to open a telegram. You can't not open a telegram. You can when you've got ten quid at stake. Yeah, but it might be bad news. What if Thelma had an accident? If she's had an accident, they'll ring you up. Well, we've got the phone off the hook. Yeah. <laughs> no, in there, and they'll probably have it on the news, SOS. Well, we've got the set-off, we've got the set-off. Oh, settle down, Max, settle down. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be all right, I'll be all right. Pre-match <laughs> nerves, I expect. We're almost there. You know, I would have thought Flint would have given us more of a run for his money. It's been quite easy, hasn't it? It was one very dodgy moment. Yeah, you mean in the church? No, in the hospital. When I came round, I caught a glimpse of the headlines in the Evening Chronicle. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't want to upset you. So why upset me now? 
I've been upset on my own for the last four hours. It's all right, it's all right. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, you've got to tell me now. You can't just say that, then not tell me. I want to know. I've got to know. I didn't see the score. I only saw England F. Pardon? <laughs> England F. I saw the word England, then the first letter of the second word. F, see? Oh, my God. Well, that's it, isn't it? It's obvious. England flop. Not necessarily. Or England fail. Or England fiasco. Oh, get a grip of yourself, man. You're falling to pieces. It, it could be anything. It could be England fight back. But why? After early setback. Fight back after early setback, yeah, yes. Yeah. Or, or England forge ahead or, or even England five. Or England fade. Why did you have to tell me? Oh, shut your face, man, will you? Gooey! <laughs> How the hell did you get in here? Someone left the front door open. You! Oh, oh, goes out to check the light and leaves the door open. Hey, turn up for the book today, wouldn't it, lad? Oh, no, just shut it, Fenn, will you? And I just shut it. All right, you've won your bet. We accept that. Just don't spoil the match for us, will you? You mean to say you still don't know? No, no we, we don't. don't. You'll get your money. You'll get your yes, money. Yes, you'll get your money. Lens a fiver, kid. Oh, hell. Well, if that's the way you want it, lads. That is the way we want it. Now go on, off you go and leave us in peace. I feel I shall just shut up. off, will you? Well, it's a living. <laughs> you legless twit. <laughs> Why didn't you make an open house, invent that one legged news vendor round and all? Oh, shut up. Shut up, shut up and pipe down. Still got the match to enjoy? Let's at least salvage something from today. We still don't know what it was England effed. <laughs> England find their touch. England failed to save Ferris a fiver. A tenner. You'll get your money, you'll get your money. We're now taking you over to Vienna for the finals of the European Figure Skating Championships. <laughs> you what? <laughs> this replaces the England-Bulgaria soccer match, which was postponed earlier today because of a waterlogged pitch. <laughs> England, flooded out. 